This is week 26, day number four. Welcome. Today, we are going to continue uh, where we left off the previous video, which is we were speaking to a potential uh, owner, distressed owner of a hotel who needs to sell. This just uh, is something that she can't keep. Uh, she has a job. She's not operating the hotel or anything like that. So I've been communicating with her back and forth. Uh, and uh, today we are going to do a little bit of a recap on that deal. But primarily, I wanted to welcome you here and just kind of explain what we do. Uh, I am. This is a vlog. This is my journal where I take notes and so forth. And I share this with the world. Very personal stuff that I share here. Uh, I put it on YouTube. Uh, in hopes that it will help somebody else who wants to generate retirement income um, and not have to worry about uh, using their savings in retirement. So the savings need to be preserved. So we want to preserve those savings and use those savings to generate income uh, for the retirement years. And that's my plan. And that's what I am hoping it will help somebody here. If I can just help one person, that is fantastic because no one showed me this. I kind of have to figure it out by myself. However, I have been working on this plan for a long time. So I have learned a lot of things along the way. And I am sharing those here with you. I refused to listen to brokers and financial advisors and, 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 and other people like that because they have one thing in mind all the time, 100% of the time, they want to sell you, you know, stocks and, and, and bonds and all this kind of stuff and, and uh, financial instruments and insurance and all this sort of stuff uh, from the big brokerage houses like Vanguard and, and uh, whatever. So I don't want to do that. Uh, so how I am doing it is uh, doing real estate, but then doing also businesses that have real estate attached to them, like this hotel. So if you want to be a part of this project, you let me know below, uh, etc. Uh, I was spending some time yesterday. So if I were to resell it, you know, me and my partners, you know, would resell it uh, or keep it. So let's see how, how we, can, uh, we can do this deal. So we're going to call the seller, the distressed owner right now, and let's see what we can come up with. So that's the call that I'm about to make. Don't know if she's going to, to pick up. Don't know if this deal is actually going to go through, but the experience is fantastic because it allows my brain and hopefully your brain as well to kind of think, what would I do? If I found a distressed owner of a hotel, right, uh, to, to, to um, uh, use that as our guide, as our teacher, so that enough times that we do that, eventually we're going to score and we're going to hit a home run, okay? So um, if you haven't done so, please like uh, and share uh, and uh, comment below if you are uh, trying to generate retirement income, passive income, um, and uh, all of those good things, okay? So here we go. Uh, uh, let's see here. Um, let's get her on the phone. So I'm going to go into my CRM here, and I have her pulled up. Let's see if... She will pick up. And refresh the page here. So she texted me last night. I called her last night and she said to call her. She's Pacific time. She's in California. I'm in Florida before 8 a.m. She said, so Pacific time. So right now in California, it is three hours behind. So it's almost 7 a.m. So hopefully it gives us enough time to talk with her. Okay, let's see here. Let's 
Nazi. Please leave your message for Okay, so she didn't pick up. <laughs> That's okay. People don't pick up. People get busy, so we just kind of have to work with them. Uh, but uh, I'm going to send her a text and see if... Uh, Good morning. And I just tried calling. I hope I'm not calling you too early. I will try you back in about. 30 minutes. Is that okay? All right, so this is exciting, you know? So let's go on to uh, making other phone calls here. Okay, so we're going to wait for her to reply, and hopefully she'll give us a good time. If not, we're going to call her back in about 30 minutes. So in the meantime, we are going to make some connections over here with other opportunities. That's what we do all the time to generate retirement income. Retirement income is my number one priority here. If something cash flows, then retirement income is, you know, is, is easy to generate. So let's see here. Sold Lehigh Acres in Florida. Okay. Um, sold. Okay. Let's go on to the next. This is on the market. Seventeen K. Okay. On market. Okay. So yeah, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, uh, this channel pretty much is a vlog uh, of what I do to, to generate retirement income. Um, and so I make phone calls to, to sellers so that uh, we can buy their property and then figure out a way to cash flow it uh, so that we can uh, generate that income monthly. So that's what I am calling these owners that the biggest problem with this business is the consistency, calling people on a regular basis and being reliable that we can buy their property. And I try to buy it without banks, without money, right? So that way, I'm sh good morning, uh, Miss Hill. Excuse me, I can't hear you with yeah, I was I was calling. This is Ben. Uh, is this Miss Il? Can you hear me? Okay. Hello. Can Can you hear me? Okay. I hear you a little bit better. 
Okay, sounds good. This is Ben. How are you? Well, I'm doing good. Good, good. Yourself? Yeah, doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. Yeah, I was. Right, yeah, I was calling you back about that property on 18th Avenue in Vero Beach. What about it? Wanted to see if you still wanted to move forward in selling it. Uh, no. We decide no. We, by the way, we're removing the whole house. You are removing the whole house? Remodeling. Say again. Remodeling. Oh, remodeling. Remodeling the whole house. Yes. Gotcha. Yes, sir. And then once it's remodeled, you're going to end up selling it? Uh, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> uh, I guess I got to get that done first mm -hmm. to see uh, what the offer can be. If we decide to move forward on that so that Okay, so you would, moment, so you would consider selling it. It's just you you want you. There's a certain number that you want to get for the house. I'm sorry. You 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 would be open to selling it as long as you're able to sell it for a, for a price that you want. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, probably yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, what I'm saying is about business, you know. So once we right. get done with the removal, so we can figure that out. Yeah. At the moment, at the moment, we, you know, we continue, you know. Yeah. Making, looking nice. Do you do you flip houses? Is that what you do? No. No. Okay. Okay. No, no. Well, how much? How much would you would you like to sell it for? And I'm telling you, right now, uh, we're remodeling the whole house. So we put a new car, a new bathroom, we have new kitchen already. So, uh, oh, you know, I don't know they want to give you guys any prices or anything, or, you know, mm. because I, I'm not in mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I understand. I understand that. If you were By the to... way, I have to talk to with my wife for yeah. this as well because she's from the grid. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we are on this together. Yeah. So no, it's not my decision. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, no problem. I am uh, I am interested. Uh, is this house uh, a house that you've owned for a long time? Yeah, we own this house for 13 years, something like that. Oh, that's good. 14. So I assume, I assume you guys used to live in the house. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Yes. Well, I hope you moved into a better house, a bigger house. <laughs> no, yeah, you know, that's one of the things that we like to do. But what I'm saying earlier, you know, we try to get the removal, you know, done mm -hmm. and see how we can move forward in something else, you know, and try to get a, you know, make a good business with the house if we are available for it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure, yeah, I, I completely understand that. Um, if you uh, if you uh, talk to your family and so forth, uh, you let me know. I am not going to lowball you on uh, on this property here. Uh, if you were to sell it right now, talk to them and kind of see what you guys would sell it for. And if you you're still interested in selling it, then you give me a shout back. You know, you have my number now. You you can text me or call me. And see if we can do business, like you were saying. All right, man. Sounds good. Okay. I appreciate it, Mr. Marzo. Talk to you soon, okay? All right. No problem, man. Okay. Have a good day. You too, thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. So, he is in the process of remodeling it and wants to sell for a high price. Okay, I'll just leave that as dead because there's no upside. It's okay. Move on to the next. Uh, let's see here. Sold. See if she has texted. Has not. Okay.
Okay. Sold. Okay. So what? We, we go through property and property after property. Um, you know, um, looking for cash flow, looking for income. That's what I'm doing. I'm in the process of, of, of calling around to see if I can find a property that can generate income for us. That is pretty much the business here. And uh, as soon as I find it, we start talking and, you know, uh, we can, we can see if we can put something together. Um, but uh, we keep organized by using um, we have our own CRM that we sort of developed a little bit along with merging it with other stuff, but there's great CRMs out there. That's a customer relationship management software. Okay, no answer, okay. Okay, let's move on to the next. Lehigh Acres, okay, in Florida. Hello. Hey, good morning, Lucia. This is Ben. How are you? I'm in the doctor's office. Can you please make it fast? Sure, sure. I can call you back also later, but I was just following up with our conversation about uh, your property there on Lehigh Acres. See uh, if you wanted to move forward. Well, if you want to offer peanuts, like 9000 something, it's not going to happen. Uh, okay. Well, how much would you like to, to, to get for it? Well, I forgot which one you're interested because we have five. You have five. Okay. Well, I might be interested in all of them, but I was specifically calling on the, the one on 24th Street, 3504. 24th. Let me see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can find fast the price for that one. Mm -hmm. On 25, what address? What's the address? Uh, 3504 24th Street. We don't own that one. We own 3505 and 3506 on 24th Street. 3506. Okay, so we just made a typo here, probably. Uh, okay. So you have. I'm sorry? We probably uh, made a mistake with the address on our end. So um, 3505 and 3506. I wrote it down here. Uh, how much are you looking for? Are they right next to one another? Yes. Okay. So if we were to buy both, uh, both of those, what? Uh, how much are you looking for? We're asking forty-five thousand for each. Forty-five for each. Okay. Do you know if there's utilities already in place that we can tap into? I, I don't know exactly what you mean. I know they power electricity on a street okay. and the house is built but as far as a septic tank i don't think there is okay i understand uh and as far as well then i assume that there's no well there or hook up to the city no i don't think so okay 
Have you have you owned them? Very curious. Have you owned them for a long time? Yes. Okay. Since two thousand five six, that's how much we paid for each one. Oh man! So you we back, bought back, them at the top. Oh wow! So you, back then you paid forty five thousand each. Each. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I am interested. Okay, I am interested. So when you get done with your appointment. Uh, we can probably, if you want to call me back or text me or something, then we can kind of talk a little bit more in detail. Would that be okay? Well, you can ask me anything else if you want right now. They didn't call me in yet. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I, I was wondering, one of the things I always wonder is uh, when we can build on these lots and what we can build. When? Yeah, when? When does, because I know Tomorrow, that, if you buy it today, you can build tomorrow. Well, I, the, the only reason I'm asking that is because when we have tried to do that, we go to the county and they put us on a waiting list. So that's the, I don't know if there's a, if, if, if there's going to be a hiccup. So I was just wondering if you knew. Uh, no, I don't know anything about it because we never intended to build on it we don't have the money to build on it oh i understand i understand okay yeah there's typically a I waiting mean, you list you can check with the city hall if you want mm -hmm. but i don't know anything about that situation yeah and that's that's kind of like one of the big things right because if you can't build then then you know that that's going to be an issue uh, no, so, just check with the city hall. That would be smart before we do anything. That's right. That's right. That's the one thing I needed to to figure out. And so, therefore, I also assume that you don't know uh, what they're zoned. Do you, do you know if they're zoned residential, mixed, uh, anything like residential, that? Residential, yeah. they are homes there. Mm -hmm. homes. Mm -hmm. Do you think we can build like a duplex? Oh, yeah. Oh. I, I can send you, uh, is this is this your cell? Yes, it is. I can send you a picture of the street if you want. Uh, oh, yes. I cannot promise you right now, mm -hmm. but I can send you a picture. It's this lot are at the end of the block. It's like a, okay. a cul-de-sac. Okay. Street. Yeah. I'm sorry? A cul-de-sac, right? Maybe. Yeah, okay. I think so, right. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh -huh. that'd, be, that'd be fantastic if you send that to me. I'll send you a picture of the street. Mm -hmm. And there are houses you said that, that have already been built there on the same street? Yes, they, they were. When we visited last time, which was maybe a year ago or so, mm -hmm. there were homes um, built there, yeah. Oh, okay, I thought you lived in the area. Where do you live? No, 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 we live in Bamboo Pines, Hollywood. Uh, Okay. You ready? Hi, honey. Okay. Uh-huh. Well, I live I live right here. I live down the street from you, just south. I live uh North Miami Aventura area. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So I so get if, it. <laughs> so if we do a deal, you know, we can meet face to face and uh and, that would and, be nice. And yes. sign it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well let what me, is your name again? My name is Ben. My name is Ben. Ben, yeah. Yep, yep. And uh, this is my, my direct line. So, yeah, if is you can send me that cell picture. Phone number? It's a cellular? Yes. Is this a cell? Yes, I yes. can text you the picture. Yes, it's you can. It's actually a video. Oh, that'd okay, be perfect. Then. That'd be perfect. Yeah, send me the video. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, Thank so you. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Lucia. And uh, we'll talk soon, okay? Okay, perfect. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye-bye. She owns forty five, thirty five, oh five, and thirty five, oh six. Doesn't own thirty five, zero. They 
own five lots and would like to sell for each for at least 45k. She says they don't have a lot of money and they is supposed to text me a picture. Okay, let me put this on warm leads and move on to the next. Uh, she lives, she lives I said we can meet and do this face to face. Okay. So make sure. So here, uh, I didn't pitch her uh, because she was in a rush and I want her to get used to me a little bit better. Uh, she sounds like a very nice lady. I love her accent. Uh, she's probably Hispanic, I think. Um, so, you know, that's very homey and stuff, you know, people, family type people, in my opinion. Uh, so it'd be nice to meet her face to face. So let's see if we can give them 45. Uh, if they give, gave us a 30 year mortgage, I wouldn't mind doing that at all. Uh, <clears throat> so now that's on, on that one. Uh, actually, let me, yeah, we just put it there. Let's go on to the next and see if we can as a matter of fact, let me go back to our hotel lady. This her name. Okay, let's see if she answered. So. Okay, let me try her again. The hotel lady, uh, okay, Raj, Raj. So she said, call me before 8 a.m., I think. Uh, call me before 8 a.m. What time is it in California? It's 7.14. Okay. So. 714. Let me try her again. Good morning. Good morning, sir, Mr. Ben. Yes, good morning, Raj. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. I, I am sorry if I woke you up. No, no, it's so good. It's okay. <laughs> I, I just didn't know if you if you were going to get ready to go to work soon, you know, and I didn't want to disturb yeah, you. Yeah, now we're trying to work from home. So. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, uh, yeah, it, it, how's it going this morning? It's 30, there's basically 30 doors including the office. There's an office room in front for the office, for the manager. For the manager, okay. 
Okay, tell me a little bit more about that. So it's all single, just one room, right? Like single rooms, but big, bigger ones. Like it's old. You know how in the olden days things were bigger than now. Then you construct new. You don't build that big rooms anymore. But I can get you the. I think square footage is like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then. Including the restroom. So now there's no kitchenette or kitchen. Mm -hmm. How many rooms did you say? Thirty. Thirty. So three. Oh, okay. Okay, thirty rooms. Yeah, I, I kind of I looked it up online. Did it used to be a River Valley Inn hotel? Yes, it is. It is real and in hotel even now. Even now. Okay, so is it operational right now? Not now, due to the COVID moratorium. A moratorium, okay. Mm -hmm. There was a moratorium, right? Yeah. At that time, the city came and evacuated everybody. Mm -hmm. And so it's completely vacant. So this is the right time for the buyer to take over. Mm -hmm. you know, buyer to take over. And do you do you own a, do you have a mortgage on this? Are you six thousand four forty three per month? Six thousand nine hundred and thirty nine thousand is outstanding. Nine hundred thirty thirty. How much? Nine hundred thirty. Nine hundred seventy nine. Okay. Okay. Nine hundred thirty nine thousand. And how much do you want to sell it for? Can, can you hear me okay? Yes, yes. Yeah, I was, I, was, I was wondering how much you wanted to sell it for. Hello? Yes, I was wondering how much you want to sell it for. How much would be the the sales price? Okay, so 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 you can take over the six thousand per month payments, six percent mm -hmm. amortized for twenty five years, and there is a the loan payment after three year, three and a half years from now. So, okay. uh, so you take over the six thousand for forty three, and then. Yeah, I actually I am at five hundred thousand, but it's negotiable. How much? Five hundred thousand. Five hundred about the about the mortgage. You can take over the mortgage. Mm -hmm. So to cash you out, you'd want uh, you you'd want five hundred thousand. Yes. Okay, five hundred thousand to cash you out. Okay, five hundred k to cash you out. Okay, and that is negotiable. You said. Yes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> what? Um, so that would make it um, close to you know one point five million, one point four between one point four and one point five. Correct. Okay. So uh, twenty five yeah. years amortized balloon payment, three and a half years. Just making all the notes here. Uh, I'm curious. Uh, side side note, just to understand a little bit better, um, what to, after the moratorium, uh, you never you never filled it up again. But you were operating the hotel before the moratorium, correct? So, um, are you still there, Raj? Say that again. So, it's under an LLC. Okay. 
Uh-huh. Okay, go ahead. Under LLC, okay. So I have I have your email address here. Uh, let me just confirm it with you. I will let you go back to sleep because I know I know you're really tired, and I can appreciate that, you know. And I know that you you uh you work really long and hard. So let me let me call you back later on today. Let me do a little bit of due diligence. What time can I call you okay. back today? Today it's fine. Anytime. Yesterday I had meetings, but today I don't have meetings. So anytime. So anytime today. So if I called you back in like three hours, that would be okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Raj, so much. And get get get. Hopefully you can get back to sleep. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Bye-bye. Thank you, bye. Thank you, bye-bye. Yes. She will let us take over the payments here. <laughs> I got us a good deal. So um, she said... 500,000 is what she wants and it is negotiable. And she's got a $939,000 mortgage and the payments are 600, 6,430 something per month. Um, So uh, she would want us to take over those payments. It's a 25-year loan, and it's amortized um, over 25 years with a three-and-a-half-year balloon payment left on it. So that is, that is fantastic news. Uh, so I think that we can, um, we can do something with this. If you want to be a part of this project, let me know. We have three-and-a-half years. Hopefully, we can renegotiate with the lender. That will give us enough time to get out of this lump in the economy right now. And hopefully by then, the mortgage rates are going to be better uh, and we're, we'll be in a better situation. But hopefully we can uh, find enough partners to, to go in with it, uh, with us on it. Uh, so if you want to be a part of this hotel, uh, you let me know. She was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to sell so bad that she picked up the phone. She had been working and stuff. So I will do a little bit more due diligence, then come back to her. And then I'll come back to you guys with another video after this so that we can call her back and go, go through the motions again. Okay. But for now, if you like that, you know, if you, if you like this hotel deal, comment below and we'll see you on the next video right now. You don't have to wait. I have to wait. I have to do all kinds of different stuff, but you get the perk. The next video that is already on this playlist uh, is going to uh, show us a little bit better uh, what happens with this hotel impossible. See you next time. Right now. Bye. Share, like, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.